questions. Too, a lot of people play the first pages. You know, that Lazy Cakes and uh, 
on on around the records they might be coming out with a CD of Bob Walters in this oh. next year because yeah they just took all Dwight's tapes uh -huh. and Dwight had all these tapes in his closet I don't know if you've been down there but uh, he sent back 15 CDs full of Bob Walters oh, yeah. Casey Jones stuff mm -hmm. that Dwight had on tape so wow that's great uh, they used to make those recordings for Dwight while he was overseas during the war yeah so I've got some audio tapes of yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've actually got a, a tape of that Lady in the Green played in 1954 by Bob Walters that, mm -hmm. and his Dwight went over there and recorded it. Huh. Yeah. And, so, and it turned out great. Oh, really? About 13 tunes on this tape he made that first time I went over to see him. Uh -huh. so that one's on there and uh, Jump Fingers, Drunken Wagner. Yeah. Great. And there's like three big black tunes on there. Oh, good stuff. Oh. Lady in the fairway one more time. In the fairway. Lady in the rough. Lady in the rough. <laughs> <laughs>
that a third part? That yes. Yeah. <laughs> that would be another one. Throw off. Throw off. That's probably not exactly like that. They did something like that. Always when I was listening to 78s trying to learn, I could never make it sound like exactly like that, you know. Some people can. They can get off of those. I don't know. A lot of folks that around here probably learned them off 78s. Their plane's kind of scratchy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned that shortening bread, you know, by Dr. Roberts <laughs> off 78. And, and the record was so worn out, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't quite get it like he had. <laughs> you play it crooked because your record had a stem in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that one got reissued later. I said, oh, I hear a lot more. Yeah. You playing D minor much? That's what I was thinking. I do. Did you remember that? Yeah. We can play that. I don't know. I'm going to make a D minor. No. <laughs> no. It's a pretty one, though. Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't do it. Wow. Is it the Elmire that thing? Yeah. We got that one, Bob and Quill. Yeah. I always remember Bob. Uh,
Okay. What? Elvira's waltz. I had some good stuff worked out on that. I got it. It's on the deck there. That was Bob McQuillan, you say? Yes. Did he really write it? Or? So. He's got that book he put out. He has Red Wing in there, and of course he wrote it. <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> right. Well, he's a captain. First time I've ever been in Fort Townsend, Pendleton, in '95, and I'd see him every morning. It was kind of hilly terrain, and uh, we'd cross paths. We didn't say anything about until midweek, <laughs> and I finally said, "Well, I'll, I'll have his tune book." So I kind of want to say hi to him. So I said, uh, "How you doing?" And the first thing he ever said was. A hell of a lot better than you. That's the first thing you ever said to me. So what can you do? I crawled on back to the book. <laughs> Probably wasn't anything personal. <laughs> I guess the, the week was taking its toll on me. <laughs> I said it all the James Worby <laughs> said, I'm going to go to a concert later Saturday night or something, so don't, don't stay up all night. I don't know, but I just about did. No. And then the, when we did the concert in the big hangar, I was forgetting words and where I was and everything else. I was totally <laughs> out of it. One of the best shows we ever did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny when you get up and try yeah, to play, play, play these concerts and things, you know. It's, I think. Uh, Used to be that way with uh, Bill Monroe. Used to be around them a little bit, and, and Butch Robbins and Kenny and them would get out jamming, you know. And then they couldn't play with the rhythm in the band, you know. They used all these other rhythms, and, and uh, it was kind of kind of tricky to do that. You know. A lot of jamming, and then get back to the regular band. A little bit of fun. I think a little bit. I know there's a bunch of There's a bunch of more there. I already placed that uh, Dr. Ecox G. Oh, yeah, that oh, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
that you? What's that one called again? What's that one called again? Uh, Dr. Heacock's jig is the second one. Uh, the first one's uh, devil, kicking up the devil on the holiday. Kicking up the devil in the what? On the holiday. Kicking the devil in the I had a, a video of you from like 1980 playing with Norman doing, playing the heck out of Dun Gong. Do you still do something like that? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> We don't have Norman. Got a cable. <laughs> Norman sort of guitarized a lot of those things. And you, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, but that's what he gets. Did you just follow him sometimes? Kind of change it to the command? Well, sometimes, like his second part on that would be just fall into G minor or something. And you know. did you play it major? This that second part? I don't think so. It's it still my yeah. background. Dow, Murphy, and Bob Black, they, they like to do major that second part. Yeah. Major.
I've never had that problem. I've never had any money for that. <laughs> 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 but, uh, you did everything, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Although I do have a brother one time, but uh, I'll never forget this. Just kind of politeness, I guess, in the in the uh, department store world. My, he, my, my brother's quite important, you might say. And he couldn't just tuxedo. He was trying to for a wedding thing. And uh, the, the line was, he said, you might need to trim your wallet. Do you play that new money? Uh, you stay a little bit. Let's see. All the Doc Roberts things are good. Huh?
uh, junk stores and individuals, you know, it's hard to ever find good ones now. You know. Still look a little bit. Yeah. Who's that? Jim Dawson. He's got a mile. I bet he's got it. You've got a pretty good nose for those things. I've been around with you a few times. And oh, yeah. I've had good luck finding them. I, most All the blue stuff I get, I have to sell them, you know, because they're worth so much money now. I kind of sports the other, the hillbilly <laughs> habit, you know. That's why I had one good blues record, you know, <laughs> by a bunch of Doc Roberts records. <laughs> yeah. But you, boy, it's rare to find a good blues record. Found the Tommy Johnson, I guess was the last big one I found a couple of years ago. Yeah. Did he play for the Blues? The Blues? The Blues? No. Uh, I don't even hardly like to listen to it. <laughs> 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 well, what about some of the real bluesy like, no, tunes? You know, some of the real <laughs> soulful bluesy fiddle tunes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I, I like it. James, I've had a request. There were a couple of tunes you played last night that I was hoping to get on tape. One was a, I don't remember, didn't catch the whole name, but there was a three part, uh, I think you said it was a horn kind of something river. Oyster River. Oyster River. Oyster River. Oyster River. Oyster River. Yeah. And then the other one was Old Tart. 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 So, those on here. You got your tape on? Horse <laughs> River. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
We found that third part in another old book or something. Somebody might have said Xerox one time. Something the third part was in. What was I thinking about? Uh, you're talking about new money that uh, y'all know that new five cents. That, uh, there's a, a Paul Warren version, but there's another version. It's in that Kentucky little team book. That's kind of crooked. Might be one year more. Five cents. Five cents. Five cents.
things. I don't care for it. Is there some no. special a, style you're doing? You know, you play softly. Well, I try to ramble a bit. I try to play the melody some. I try to just record. I try to just go in and out of different uh, semi-conscious states. <laughs> oh, it really, it really, it really, really, it really, really, it really yeah. hits the oh, heart. Yeah. Oh, normally speaking. Oh, well, I appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll wake up later and realize it. Oh, yeah. Wait till you see it. Not a to play it. No, I, it's a treat to play it for these guys. It's, it's I always like the man when the, talking about the skillet leakers, they, they did something with that Ted Hawkins, you know, mm -hmm. where the man was playing right along. Yeah. Uh, I always kind of like that sound, it, 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 even playing in unison pretty much, you know, because you get, you get a pig sound going with the bow, you know, and then kind of a Maybe it's that. <laughs> I like yeah, that. Yeah, but octaves yeah. do too, you know, high and low. Uh -huh. so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although it's a, it's a acquired taste, man. Some people really don't like it. Yeah, some don't know. It's fiddlers. <laughs> There's a story that I was at a, a festival, a little late. I won't mention places or names, but uh, at the time, it was about 3 o'clock in the morning. I was having, I'd had maybe a beer or something. I'm not a big drinker, but one beer is enough for me. About, mm -hmm. I was having a good time playing. We were playing. Uh, Monkey on a dog cart, some sea tune, kind of a boisterous tune. And I was just playing the melody mostly and rambling my, what I usually do. I was playing maybe a little louder than I should have, I don't know. But the fiddler, after we got through, we played that a long time, you know. And the fiddler, uh, the main fiddler of the little session, leaned over and says, uh, I thought he was going to say something nice, you know. He said, uh, he learned, said, you know how to play chords on that thing? And I said, <laughs> 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 and I said uh, I, Yeah, I, I'm been known occasionally play a chord. He said, might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so I slow away. <laughs> then I play the chorus the rest of the night. <laughs> well, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I won't name names, but that, you know, you can be put in your place pretty quick. Carl's <laughs> awful good working on harmonies, you know, or, or just playing them kind of off the top of his head, hearing them. But when I first met him, uh, we played down a horse pen sport in one year. And I don't know if I talked to you or not. That Probably year, not. But <laughs> he taped all these tunes, whatever we were playing at the time, you know. And, then, oh, yeah. and I remember that about a year later, we played this festival again down in Alabama, you know, horse pens. And, uh, so I was walking up the hill, and, and, uh, and Carl came up and had his band with, you know. <laughs> I never had it, even talked to him or met him or anything. <laughs> So he had to give a fiddle well, out, you know. Well, he had he had twin parts to every team we played the year before. There, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what that is. Yeah. This guy's Great. a stalker. Security. <laughs> 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 uh, I knew I knew that was somebody I could get along with. <laughs> <laughs>
Miami in the day? No. <laughs> 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 I think that's it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we, we didn't write anything down there last night. I just I pulled out two or three. We didn't play guitar. Let's watch it.
<laughs> what the devil ails you? <laughs> E.T. that's got devil in the time is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the devil ails you? A long list. Another devil test. Another devil test. Another devil test. <laughs> 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 Just had a theme here. <laughs> Devils and. <laughs> Used to play that. I, I, yeah, I listened to Eldie Barbie. They had a fellow made me a CD of some of his stuff. He did that. Devil chasing around the stone. I didn't get anywhere close to that either. <laughs> I learned them wrong, and then everybody started playing them like I did. That's right. <laughs>